Hi there guys, I'm Nikhil from Greedy Tech and this is the tech news of the day. Okay, Google is planning to ditch its own nearby share feature for Samsung's Quick Share. Now, I've just checked both features. Quick Share is pretty similar to nearby share with some differences, but most of the stuff is pretty similar. Anyway, Google is planning to do this to push out Quick Share to more people. They're also collaborating with LG to bring Quick Share pre-installed on all their laptops as well. Well, Samsung already has Quick Share on their laptops, so we'll be seeing Quick Share a lot around, and I think it's a very good initiative. Google Pixel phones internationally or in US have this unique feature called call screening feature. Now this particular feature automatically answers calls from unknown numbers and spam calls and transcribes the chat or the call so that you can check out it later. Now this particular feature was not available in India but it seems Google is planning to bring it to India and it seems it'll come with Indian English and Hindi languages as of now. If you're using other Indian languages, say like Malayalam, Telugu, Bihari or something else, then you might have to wait a little while longer. Do you remember Notepad? Yes, that Windows application that almost everyone uses. Now, Microsoft is planning to bring AI to Notepad. They're calling it the co-writer feature. Now, it's not live yet. You'll get it with the next update probably. So this is how it happens. You open a Notepad, you write something, then the co-writer will auto-correct it, check for spellings probably. Then you can ask the co-writer to make the text longer or shorter, summarize it, or just change the tone or format. So it's a pretty cool feature and I personally like it. There is this new AI powered mobile phone called Rabbit R1. Now this is something really cool. Now we already have things like ChatGPT, Google Bard, Microsoft Copilot. So what all these things do is just answering your questions. They use something called large language model where they go through a lot of data and give you the right answer. But this new Rabbit R1, which is a mobile based AI powered phone, you can use it like a phone, can actually do stuff. Like you can ask it to play music and it'll actually play music say from Spotify or YouTube music. You ask it to book a ride on Uber, it will book an Uber ride. So this new mobile device is actually actionable. This is definitely something really cool and something I would probably give it to my parents who want simple technology. But at the same time, it'll be a way long time before it gets translated to our local languages. Anyway, cool product, do check it out. Asus is coming up with a brand new dual screen laptop. Well, Asus already launched something called Asus ZenBook Duo with dual screens. The bigger screen and the smaller screen is actually half the size of the main screen. But the new Asus ZenBook Duo 2024 edition comes with two 14 inches displays which are stacked like a notebook. They have 3K resolution OLED panels and they also come with a detachable keyboard and trackpad. This is basically how the ZenBook Duo looks like. It looks pretty cool. I really love the OLED displays. You can use it like a tablet. You can use the secondary screen like a keyboard. You have a lot of screen real estate. Personally, I love it. CES has been going on. There are a lot of cool gadgets and there are new stuff even in automobiles. Now, Mercedes has brought up a new AI-based dashboard. Well, there isn't a lot to talk about. It's just like ChatGPT in your own car and they plan to customize it. Anyway, that's about Mercedes and Sony has also brought its own innovation to car. Now, you can control a car with your joystick, probably from PS5. It definitely sounds funny, but it works. You might want to check it out as well. Samsung's Unpack event is just right around the corner where they'll be launching the Samsung S24, S24 Plus and the S24 Ultra and their specifications have been leaked today. So these are the rough specifications. You can also check them out online for in-depth breakdown. TCL has launched four new TVs which are based on QD mini LED technology in India which comes in four sizes 55 inch, 65 inch, 75 inch and 85 inches. Its price starts from 75,000 rupees so if you're looking to buy a brand new TV this is something that you might want to consider. QD mini LED TVs are mini LED TVs with the quantum dot technology so they are slightly better than the mini LED TVs which is just as good as the OLED TVs. Have you heard about Getty Images? Well, it's a stock media company where you can buy stock footages, photos or videos. Now they've used all their stock footages and videos as an input for their own AI and they've come up with a brand new service called Generative AI by iStock. Now all the images generated by this particular AI can be licensable so they don't have to worry about any code cases. As for pricing, you can get 100 photos at just $15, which is pretty cheap I would say. I found their strategy to be a little different than compared to other stuff like ChatGPT or Bard where they just use all the data from the web. So this is something interesting so that's why I shared this news. 
Anyway guys, that's all the interesting news I have for today. If you like this video, hit the like button, share it with your friends and do subscribe to our channel. And thanks for watching the video till the end. It means a lot to us. See you next time.